today's reading of The Power of Awareness by Neville. Chapter 11, Interference. You are free to choose the concept you will accept of yourself. Powerful words right there. That's why I love his writing. I mean, it's simple and it's like whatever, but it's not. <laughs> I mean, not saying it's like on the level of biblical, but hmm. This sort of writing is something that you can ingest again and again and again and again and still have new thought bombs exploding in your awareness, revealing all sorts of shit you never thought of before. Seeing new connections, finding new layers of wisdom. Even if it's created out of your own imagination. Right? I mean, right? So, you are free to choose the concept you will accept of yourself. There's so much pundled in there. Let's unpack it. You accept concepts of yourself. Well, that right there just says something. Like, you accept them. It's you. What do you accept of yourself? Whatever you, whatever you believe... So you choose your concepts of yourself. You choose how you see yourself. You choose to reject that you're 100% responsible for the world that you live in. Or you choose to accept that. In infinitude, right? The Father, the Son, the American, different layers of the one cause substance, the one I am, right? You, you... I am. You are free to choose the concept you will accept of yourself, right? So therefore, you possess the power of intervention, which enables you to alter the course of your supposed future. That's not what he says. He says alter the course of your future. But if you're altering it, because most of future would be supposeds, right? The process of rising from your present concept to a higher concept of yourself is the means of all true progress. The higher concept is waiting for you to incarnate in the world of experience. It's your future self beckoning to you in the now, right? Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory. Him that is able to do more than you can ask or think is your imagination. And the power that worketh in us is your attention. Understanding imagination to be him that is able to do all that you ask or think, and attention to be the power which you create your world, you can now build your ideal world. Imagine yourself to be the ideal you dream of and desire. Remain attentive to this imagined state and as fast as you completely feel that you already are this ideal, it will manifest itself as reality in your world. Now, I, I chewed on that. I kind of thought how almost everything I read by Neville seems to be answering things and clarifying Everything's just lighting up wonderfully. You know what I mean? It's giving even a, a lot of net what Neville will do will not only deliver in an almost different packaging concepts and teachings or understandings of life, the universe, and reality from other sources now have further validation, if you will. And <laughs> understanding imagination to be 
him that is able to do all that you ask, and attention to be the power by which you create your world. You can now build your ideal world. Imagine yourself to be the ideal you dream of and desire. Remain attentive to this imagined state and as fast as you completely feel that you are already this ideal, it will manifest itself as reality in your world. And I thought the secret, the law of attraction, that whole thing about a time buffer, Joe Vitale even mentions it. You remember the, the scene of the elephant taking a dump in the living room? Yeah. So I thought out of everything that I get from Neville, which is brilliant on its own, let alone for whatever, this time around, third time around. Profound. But I thought this one thing, I don't know, like as soon as you imagine it, it's right there. Like that's a little bit like, you know, I can buy into the time buffer thing. But I looked a little deeper. And he's not talking about an African safari. He's not talking about that nice new shiny bicycle, right? He's talking about the ideal self manifested. That's you. That's you. That's up here. That's consciousness. It's awareness. It's your mind. It's your emotions. It's you. It's you. It's not about the bicycle or how it was attained. It was not about the safari or elephant poop. It's about the self. It's about the hologram coming to being. It's about closing down those other doors, choosing the one and embodying that in the now. It's about the future self, right? What we just talked about, right? Imagine yourself to be the ideal you dream of and desire. Yourself. Imagine yourself. Not where do you want to go on vacation, right? Not what kind of rig do you want to sport with the neighborhood kids, right? He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. The mystery hid from the ages, Christ in you, the hope of glory. The he, in the first of these quotations, is your imagination. As previously explained, there is only one substance. This substance is consciousness. It is your imagination which forms this substance into concepts, which concepts are then manifested as conditions, circumstances, and physical objects. Thus, imagination made your world. This supreme truth, with but few exceptions, man is not conscious of. The mystery hid from the ages. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You are God. You create the world, man. There is something to be said for the truth and the sincerity of this whole 100% responsible thing. You know, I know Neville doesn't really mention it a, a, a whole lot, but that's exactly, I mean, what it is. The he in the first of these quotations is your imagination. As previously explained, there is only one substance. This substance is consciousness. It is your imagination which forms this substance into concepts, which concepts are then manifested as conditions, circumstances, and physical objects. Thus, imagination made your world. This supreme truth, with but few exceptions, man is not conscious of. The mystery, Christ in you, referred to in the second quotation, 
is your imagination by which your world is molded. The hope of glory is your awareness of the ability to rise perpetually to higher levels. Christ is not to be found in history nor in external forms. You find Christ only when you become aware of the fact that your imagination is the only redemptive power. When this is discovered, the towers of dogma will have heard the trumpets of truth and like the walls of Jericho, crumble to dust. <clears throat> right? There it is.